Hello and welcome back you lovely lovely bunch. So um, it's another video from myself, Will. Um, just some, um, some updates, some news I want to go through with you guys, share my views and opinions, the usual sort of thing. Um, now obviously if you like the ch if you like the video I should say not the channel if you like the video please do click that like button and if you haven't already subscribed then please feel free to do so so I'm gonna jump right into it now first thing I really wanted to discuss with you guys which I kind of left out of my last video which was obviously e3 and, and my wants and, and predictions for that um, was Luigi's Mansion I completely forgot about it um, it, it came to me today I was just like oh my god I forgot Luigi's Mansion um, obviously we've had that really short trailer for it and yeah I, that is another one that has to go on my list of once for E3. Absolutely loved Luigi's Mansion when it first came out. One of the first games that I had on the GameCube um, and yeah it, it's just a really really fun little game. It's not a long game by any means you know you can complete it quite easily in a day with a lot of breaks in between um, but yeah I really want to see more from that and I would have thought by now being sort of the time frame it should certainly be nearing completion I would have thought but I just thought I'd give that a little nod um, want to know if you guys had any thoughts on Luigi's Mansion um, if you want to see it at E3 do let me know moving on from that um, one I really wanted to discuss and haven't talked about a lot was Astral Chain which was um, which was shown at the uh, at direct a couple of months back um, as sort of a, a new IP obviously for um, for Platinum Games now I know we're talking a lot at the moment about Platinum Games but um, most recently, um, obviously it's coming out August, August the 30th, um, Astral Chain, but um, in a, basically in a recent interview with, uh, with uh, VGC Platinum Games, um, the studio head, um, and once again, apologies for my Japanese pronunciation, but um, Atushi Inaba, um, he was asked if the upcoming Switch exclusive Astral Chain, if it had been influenced by Scalebound, now Scalebound, if you don't know about it, it was a, it was a, a RPG game um, which was due for Xbox, um, which was then cancelled, and since then there's been outcry for it. People have really wanted to scale ban and start development. Nothing has been said, so we don't know if it's if it's ever going to come about. But it looks like a brilliant game. I mean, I've got a video that you guys are watching now, which is footage from scale ban, and it looks right up my street anyway. Um, but yeah, they they have said, you know, is is um, is Astral Chain is it influenced by Scalebound? And um, basically, he went on to say he, he said I can't go into detail about how the different gameplay systems of Astral Chain and Scalebound work, but they are both very different. Any similarity between the two projects is not true. It's all in your imagination. These were her, his exact words, which. I mean, just cracked me up. I was like, oh, okay, that's straight to the point. So, yeah, enjoy Astral Chain, but if you think it's anything like Scalebound, you're wrong. Um, I think there's a little bit more to it, to that, if I'm being completely honest. I, I don't know, I think Scalebound is going to come out somewhere at some point, but who knows. But yeah, with Astral Chain, I mean, as a game, uh, so I haven't really discussed it much, but basically it's um, it's set in like a like a like a huge prosperous like multicultural city. Um, there's there's a big disaster. These these um, these dimensional gates appear in in the city, which is called Ark, I believe, um, and it brings like alien creatures to the city. Um, basically, the the police force then they form like a, a special um, task force, um, and they're known as Neuron. Uh, basically just to tackle like the alien invasion um and yeah basically you're, you're like your uh, humanity's last defense um and you you use like this this living well they call it a living weapon it's called legion um which it looks like it's on a chain it looks like it's crossed between like a dog and like a i don't know it's like a mechanical robot thing but it looks pretty awesome i mean the 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 styling of the game looks really really good right up my street very kind of jrpg um but yeah it's a really interesting title so definitely you know check that one out if you guys haven't already but yeah basically you play as like this rookie cop and and you and your legion you work together to sort of solve cases and well save humankind basically so Really, really interesting one. And yeah, just a little report. I, I, I read about that interview and I thought I'd share it with you guys and want to know your thoughts. Do you reckon Scalebound is going to come out at some point? Um, are you interested about Astral Chain? Do you want to know more? You know, are you going to be buying it on launch day? Do, do let me know. Um, now, the, the other thing, which literally I just saw a couple of minutes ago on Twitter, which I am so excited about, Nintendo have just put out their, their E3 plan 
over the few days of E3. So I will go through that with you now, guys. Um, so with E3, we've got Splatoon 2 World Championship. That's the live stream, which starts 11 a.m. Pacific time and on June the 8th. Um, then from that, we've got Super Smash Bros. Ultimate World Championship um, 3 vs 3. So that will begin after the conclusion of Splatoon 2. So that will be at 2 p.m. Um, Pacific time, and that's on the 8th of June, obviously, as well. Now, the big one for me, anyway, the Nintendo Direct is 9 a.m. Pacific time on the 11th of June. Oh, my God, my, my heart skipped a beat when I saw that. So I cannot wait for that. That one is, uh, is going in the diary, and I've got big things planned for that video-wise. So. Obviously, I'll keep you guys posted with that. Um, then last, we had the uh, the Nintendo Treehouse, uh, which obviously will be live. That's the three days of Nintendo Switch gameplay. Um, that'll be with developers and, um, and Nintendo Treehouse members as well. Um, and that's on, yeah, that's on the 11th of June as well. So, so much, so much excitement at the moment. It's unreal. Obviously, we've got PlayStation today with their little Direct. Hasn't happened as yet. I am filming this on Thursday, but at some point, probably next week, I will do a video on that and my thoughts. But... I've got a lot of ideas and a lot of videos sort of planned over the next 48 hours or so so it might be sort of later next week that that comes out but obviously I'll share it with you guys. Um, as I put out on Twitter if you guys haven't seen I am going to be doing a Q&A because I have just hit 50 subscribers or just over now on uh, on YouTube which is amazing so I'm doing like a little Q&A so obviously if you guys have any uh, have any um, questions you might like to ask me go on to Twitter do DM me and um, I will uh, I'll be doing a video about that and I'll also be doing a, a video on uh, Detective Pikachu when I see that um, over the weekend so yeah thank you very much for watching as usual guys and girls um, it does mean the absolute world to me um, as I say please leave a comment about anything that you've liked anything that you haven't liked please leave that below um, I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will speak to you all very soon all the best guys bye bye